appears as though because I could not move at superhuman speed, they may have made another deal. Which kind of worries me. But I'll finally take Belgium, looks like. Lose London. Unless I could go after Norway. Although they said that Sweden, they were planning on attacking Norway with Sweden. As long as I, right now I'm standing on one that I'm definitely getting. Let's just go for it. Had a feeling. Um, I predicted that. So I get two because of my amazing planning skills. <laughs> nice. So, Berlin, you're going to get an army. Um, I can't build another because my two other home places are occupied. Russia is down to just the one place. Looks like I'm going to lose my hold in England. Which kind of sucks. I have unused builds, but I can't use them. So... Here's how this is going to work. Now that I have no threat from the Norwegian Sea, um, there was going to be a much more spectacular end to that sentence, but I can't remember it. Munich is going to attack Burgundy. Belgium cannot support that because it's not an army. Okay... Sweden is mine. Um, I'm going to... No, I'm going to take Norway. Because they're almost undoubtedly going to move out of Norway. Um... Let's see, which way should I expand? I I could probably easily take Warsaw. Not a bad idea. There's a decent amount of buildup on the west. Okay, how about this? I'll move this guy alone to Prussia. He'll try and take Warsaw by himself. Um, meanwhile, he's going to move into Ruhr. Going to hold at Belgium. And we'll see how many I lose, how many I gain. Yeah, I pretty much predicted that. Pretty much predict pretty much predicted just about everything. Oh. Didn't realize I wouldn't have to bother with that. That was one mistake that I'll probably actually end up paying for. Um, however, I did gain two. Uh, and I lost one. I don't know if I want to attack Turkey because um, he is actually the strongest on the board. Most of his stuff is concentrated on the south, but you don't usually want to antagonize the leader. Okay, I'm going to do support bridge. Uh, 
for Norway and Sweden. That way they both are supporting each other. It'll take two units to displace either of them. I'll let them have my thing in England. Meanwhile... Munich is going to move into Burgundy. Ruhr is going to help him. Belgium is going to chill, as it does a lot. And... Prussia... is going to move to Silesia... Um, no. I'm going to attack Warsaw. May prove a mistake, but that guy is all up there by himself. I don't think I'm risking much. Let's see what happens. One of my favorite things to say in this game. Oh, right, I forgot that they were probably going to take Denmark. Um... So, whoa, England wants an agreement. They want peace. And, uh... So... They want peace. I'll give them what they think is going to be peace. <laughs> uh... I'm going to backstab them so fast. Okay, so we've got a few guys retreating. None of my guys need to retreat. And so I get to build one. Whoa! Turkey wants a peace agreement as well. I will accept that. Yoink. Um... Oh, Turkey, stop getting so strong, damn it. I'm supposed to win. Russia is about to lose. <laughs> They're standing on Vienna, that's it. Um, okay. So, it's the build step. Uh, let's see, there's still no one right near Munich, so I can leave that... No, unguarded, pretty much. Um, so I'm definitely going to build something in Kiel to take back Denmark. I'm going to go with the Navy. I'm pulling... Uh, uh, Yeah, I think I want to... No. You know what? No. I want... I want an army. It can still take Denmark. I'll be able to convoy it to somewhere else when I'm done. Okay. Dramatic music. Okay, things have been built. So now comes the part where I attack Picardy. Rar. Um go to Belgium to back him up, to place him, I think, I think that's what I do, um, I backstab right away and take Denmark, 